Dan, Dan, everybody. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for, for coming out. And, as you can tell, we've got aircon. Uh, yes, I know. There was, uh, well, there was an instant last month, and uh, there we are. But anyway, we have, is it nice and comfortable? You, yes, lovely. Well, it's lovely to see you. Uh, and uh, summer is here, isn't it? The, um, finally, finally. It's been a bit of a, bit of a, a non-sun slog, but, uh, but we've got there, um, which is wonderful. And um, I, was, I was having a think, um, because you're known as the Sunshine Coast, aren't you? Um, and, and I was thinking that, do you, you know, in years such as this year, where there hasn't been any sun until a few weeks ago, do you get slightly worried that people will sue you? The, um, maybe you don't. I don't know. But um, the uh, because I, I did I googled Sunshine Coast, uh, and uh, and that's what comes up. And uh, which you know, and there's there's forty miles of white sand, and and also. Uh, the Sunshine Coast has three UNESCO nature reserves, and, and I don't know, you know, I, I think if maybe, well, the thing is, I thought I'd have a look and see if anybody had, uh, you know, decided to, to take it, you know, maybe a tourist had come on holiday and thought, Sunshine Coast, that's where I'm going, that's for me, and they arrive at Eastbourne, and, and they're confused, and I thought maybe they could, you know, contact the, the tourist office, there could be a claim where there's blame, you know? and um, so, um, uh, I thought, well, has that ever happened? Well, I did a little bit, dig little bit of digging, and um, you'll be pleased to hear that it hasn't happened. Um, well, I couldn't find it. But um, what I did find was that uh, there was a bit of a Ferrari, I don't know if you know this, uh, back in 2017. Um, I, I don't know if you still have these signs, but if you can't read it, it's Eastbourne, breathe it in, welcome to the Sunshine Coast. Yeah. You've seen that sign around. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, you know, question breathing it in on the, where it's situated on that drill carriageway, but it doesn't matter, that's a detail. Um, because, uh, but, but people complained. Did, you, did anyone complain in here? I hope not. The, uh, people complained because what they said was that uh, it, the last sign was, uh, was much better because it was a welcome to Eastbourne in many different languages, including, um, I think there was French and German, Japanese and Chinese, you see. Uh, and they felt that this was, you know, lacking in, in languages. Um, well, fortunately, one of your councillors stepped in um, and, uh, and explained, and I'll, I'll put her quote up because, uh, you know, the previous Welcome to Eastbourne signs date back to the 1980s when Eastbourne's overseas visitors mainly originated from a small group of European countries. Now, I'm not great on geography, but the last time I looked, China and Japan weren't in the EU. But, I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, I decided to keep on digging to see if anybody has ever you know, pursued a claim against Eastbourne for its non-Sunshine, Sunshine Coast claim. I still couldn't find anything, but I thought, what, what I'll do, I'll go on that bedrock of um, credibility, the, the, the resource everyone goes to when they want to know the truth about uh, something, uh, TripAdvisor. Um, <laughs> and uh, I thought, they'll tell me. So I went on to TripAdvisor, to, and I, I, I thought, still couldn't find anything, but I thought, well, let's have a look to see what people say about some of Eastbourne's fantastic uh, things and I thought, well, what do they say about the beach? Uh, so here we go. I, I, I've got you. have got a couple of little snippets. I'm going to put up. Um, so this is a great review from someone in Hastings. Eastbourne wouldn't be as popular without its beach. <laughs> now, I, that struck me, and I didn't have to search for these. You know, I just they came up pretty much at the beginning. I thought, well, actually. I don't think Eastbourne would be Eastbourne. I think it would be Tunbridge Wells, <laughs> and no one wants that. So you know. Uh, that was what they said about your beach, but there was this other one uh, about the beach, which, um, now, Amy, um, she, so she, this was her thing, going for a usual walk along the seafront, and it's only in April, uh, I think actually the last one was uh, uh, about a year ago, this is in April. Um, now, the thing about Amy, I've never met Amy, but it's in public domain, I think she has quite a low bar in terms of what she's looking for, um, because she, so me and Joanne went there to go for a walk, this is um, Eastbourne Beach, um, we walked along the seafront as usual, and saw the sea and the sunshine. So things are, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's meeting the, uh, uh, the thing. We also saw some people walking along the seafront too. It was an awesome day. And that's good. I mean, you know, that's, uh, anyway, we'll move on from Amy. I think her expectations are perhaps lower than generally the tourist board might say. I looked up Beachy Head, okay, and this is Mark. So he spent a few hours walking on the edge of the cliffs, trying to stop his partner from getting too close, then realising she is heavily insured. 
so why worry? And I, I like the fact he's just put a little smiley face. So it's like, you know, if she falls off the cliff, you know, wow, well, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that's Beachy Head. You know, I have a good Beachy Head. Then I thought I would, um, I thought I know, I'll look up the towner. What does it say about the towner? Um, so here we go. Uh, Pam says, rising above art. This is only in May. The arm and croissants are great. I pretend to go there for the art, but it's really for the caramel latte and arm and croissants. And, you know, I think uh, she might have a point. I know, I know she hasn't. It's just I did, I did mention, um, I think, uh, or probably a year or so ago, about what I said, that there have been many surveys done, and the top two reasons people go to art galleries, number one is the cafe, and uh, Pam establishes that. Number two are the toilets. So, you know, I'm not sure where art comes. But anyway, that's a... Oh, and then when I was there, when I was there, um, the, uh, I thought as I was on TripAdvisor, I would look up, has anybody ever done a review about the Bavard Bar? Um, and I was a little bit nervous. I thought, oh, I don't know if I want to put that in. And I, I, I put it in, uh, and it came up under Printer's Playhouse, which is where I used to do the show. Uh, and uh, so I, it came up. There was uh, one review said that they were going to go to the Bavard Bar, and that, and that was it. Um, but then there was a, another review. Now, I haven't put it all up because it was exceptionally glowing. And I'm slightly sort of... Uh, uh, and it was a real review. You can have a look. It was quite a few paragraphs of, uh, of loveliness. And I thought, well, I'm not going to... You won't believe me. Um, so instead, well, I took a little quote uh, from it because he, he then... Uh, he talks about me. This, uh, his name is Peter. And, and this is it. So he says, Coming out uplifted, inspired, or just finding out about something you never knew with a crowd of lovely people and a very amenable if somewhat often funny, but sometimes scatty host. I can, I'll take that, you know, I'll take that on my headstone, sometimes scatty. Uh, that's good enough for me. Uh, but no, it was lovely, if you, uh, if you want to have a look, that was, uh, anyway, there we are.